Hi everyone, it's Madison. Today I'll be doing a video of how I made my glass art sailboat. Now I'm not a professional, I just started working with glass, so I'm still learning. And if you see a mistake, please let me know, but just know that this is one of my first pieces I've ever made. Now I have an all clear glass boat that I made earlier in the week. It was my prototype piece. And basically now I'm cutting more glass and shaping it to fit inside this. I actually wanted it to be a little shorter, but I still use the bigger sailboat as a reference. I will be using yellow and orange glass for the sails and orange for the base of the boat. Now when I line up a piece of glass with the original solder on the clear boat, I'll mark a line with a black sharpie of what needs to be cut off. Then I'll use my straight cutter and I'll cut it off. My straight glass cutter and I'll cut in a straight line. This will score the glass, but it won't actually cut it all the way through. So then I'll have to use my running pliers to actually break it in half. Now, if a piece does not break how it's supposed to and maybe a little is left over, I'll use my grousing pliers and I'll bite off little chunks of glass until it's uh, the piece that I desired it to be. Now, when I cut my glass, I do it over a container so there's less shards all over the garage and it's contained and that makes it easier to clean up, so I would recommend that. I just use like an old casserole dish, but you could always use a box too. Now I'm trying to assemble the sails. As you can tell, some of the pieces aren't cut properly or they just don't look necessarily like how the first boat does, so I'll be trimming. And how I do this is I mark parts off that I don't think needs to be a part of it, and then I'll cut them off and line it back up and see how it works. I do have one problem, though. Uh, I tend to push pretty hard on the glass, which can sometimes break it into two pieces. So when I want to cut it, so I just have one single piece, I'll have two. Uh, it becomes a pain, but it's not that big of a deal. You can just solder them together. I think that's just a rookie mistake, and I am getting better at that. Now I'll just keep working on making the sailboat base look good and even. I also want each sail to look normal and like how a sail really should look, so I'll be trimming off little bits and pieces to make it look as if it was a real sailboat. Now for the next few minutes, I will continue to work on making and shaping the boat. Also, I just want to say that I was able to find this cute little water for the cropping of this. And I don't know, it just reminds me of being out on a sailboat on the water. I just wanted to share. Now this is when it becomes a pain if you break your pieces in two pieces rather than one because you have to individually wrap each shard of glass in copper foil so that the solder will bind with the glass. This is a pretty lengthy process and it usually takes some time but listening to music or just kind of meditating through it usually is what gets me by. You have to make sure you do a really good job at this by smoothing it. Now I've seen people use a block before to keep the copper foil smooth, but I usually just use a table and eat, smooth it along as I go. Now I'm going in with my paintbrush and I'm going to start putting flux on the copper foil. This, was, this is what allows the solder to bind the copper foil with 
um, the glass and then the solder. I use 60-40 solder and then I start by binding each area um, where the glass touches each other and then I start going around and doing the outsides and the edges and then I'll flip it and do the same on the back. I try really hard to make sure that the solder is even that it is flat, smooth, it's, there's no balls, there's no clumps. It's easy to actually remove extra solder. You just um, reheat it and then push it off to the side and then fling it off. Uh, make sure you fling it onto something that can hold the solder because it will be a little hot, though it does uh, cool down really quick. Now I forgot to film this part, but I also added um, a metal chain. I first started by soldering one single metal uh, link to the boat and then hooking the chain to that. Um, now that's about the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. Check out the description for my social medias. Uh, and if you're interested in your own boat, message me there. Have a good one.